Board game cafes are popping up all around the world, and there is a common question that we are seeing from new and hope-to-be cafe owners. We see it on Reddit threads, and on Facebook groups, and at our email address, asksnakes at snakesandlattes.com. And that question is, should your board game cafe retail games? Yes. Duh. Yeah. It's often been joked that the best way to make a small fortune in the game industry is to take a large fortune and then open a board game store with it. But all kidding aside, the question of should you retail board games in your cafe is actually quite a complicated one, and there is no right answer for every business out there. When it comes to retailing games, the old adage is true, it takes money to make money. You're going to have to buy stock to sell. And some distributors may be willing to give you 60 or 90 days credit so you can move those games before you have to pay for them. But odds are, if you're a small organization, then you are going to have to pay for everything up front. Not only that, but the stock that you have is going to require space in order to display it and sell it. Depending on your company, the money and space required to retail might actually be better dedicated to doing things like having more tables, hiring more staff, improving your kitchen offerings, making your library bigger, or making informational yet quirky internet videos. If you decide to retail games, which of the various retail models will you adopt? Straight up brick and mortar, consignment, online, aftermarket, or some combination of all or just some of these? They all have benefits and drawbacks. Consignment is low risk. You don't need to pay any money until you've sold the product but you still need to take time and energy to develop the relationships with the indie and small presses that are gonna to want to have their games on your shelves. Some cafes will partner with a local game store, acting as sort of a satellite venue for sales. Now, the good thing is you don't need to pay for the stock, but it also means that the money is going to someone else rather than you. Now, it's up to you to decide whether you want to charge rent for your shelf space, or if you want to take a percentage of the sales, but keep in mind that the game store is unlikely to want to give you a huge chunk of their already slim margins. Online sales means shipping. Are you going to charge extra for it? Are you going to include it in your prices? Or are you going to have a minimum required order? These are some of the questions you're going to have to ask. And also, the location of your business will affect your shipping requirements. Shipping across borders can be a big pain in the butt. Online stores that have no brick and mortar equivalent, they're gonna be able to undercut you price-wise. So you've gotta think, what can you do that will make your online store more attractive than the big retailers? The main thing that your brick and mortar store offers that online retailers just can't compete with is staff expertise. Sure, a website like Amazon can tell you that customers who bought Carcassonne also bought the Lord of the Rings Blu-ray trilogy and Tide Laundry Pods, but they can't tell you why. Your staff are already making recommendations to your customers as to what they should be playing, and it's just a small hop, skip, and a jump to recommending what they should be buying. They can tell your customers that if they like Carcassonne, they're also going to like Chin. The aftermarket can be a rich vein of potential revenue, but it takes a lot of time, effort, staff know-how, and space to properly understand the market for used games and collectible singles, as well as displaying them in an efficient and effective manner. In the end, the question of to retail or not to retail is one that you are going to have to answer for yourself. If you think it's something that you want to tackle, though, start small. Start with the games that your customers are requesting frequently, and of course the evergreen games that never go out of print. Ticket to Ride, Catan, Pandemic, Dominion. Once these games start selling for you, take some of the revenue, put it back into your inventory, and increase your stock options. If you've got a favorite game that you think every game store should be selling, post about it in the comments below. Hey guys, this is Shane from Snakes and Lattes. If you like what you see, remember to comment, like, and subscribe because we'd love to hear from you. Give us all the feedback that you possibly can.